up guys so I'm touching up my hair today as you can see my roots are very grown out we're not going to talk about it you can also see how the ends of my hair have kind of absorbed the teal I'm really not sure like how one is supposed to maintain this color I'm trying my best I got these VR neon hair dyes on Amazon. They were like 10, 15 a piece, I wanna say. I got lizard green and zesty lemon yellow. Because my ends are as blue tinted as they are, I actually think I'm gonna forgo the yellow completely today. Um, first things first, gloves. So my hairdresser originally did neon green, but for some reason my roots took it as a yellow. I don't know why, but you want to just liberally coat your hair. This is not a liberal amount. I'm just trying not to squeeze it everywhere and splat it on this white wall. Because this is a rental. I'm trying to get my security deposit back. So you want to coat it, rub it around. I'm probably going to go back and coat it more. I just want to get the other side covered. So I'm going to do the rest of my hair when I get in the shower with my blue color because it's like an in shower color and that's what I've used like all of these years two years that I've been this color I've been using that on my teal part so this buying the neon colors was new for me also this is black light reactive so I do glow in the dark anytime I'm at a rave or anything else it's really awesome I love that about it it's still a pain having more than one color like it's way harder to maintain it and keep it looking like sharp i honestly haven't even straightened it in so long like it might look like poo when i straighten it i don't know i have a hair appointment for may 13th so we gonna fix it my adhd ass literally waits and decides to do this when i know i have like food delivered <laughs> like why Am I going to go greet the food guy like this? No, I'm like, this is my chance to like do it and get showered and get myself together before I go answer the door. It's power hour. Because nothing happens quick in LA. I mean, it still takes them a while to deliver any food if it's not super close. You want to do your lighter one first. So when you lay down your darker one, the lighter sections don't soak up that darker color because they're already saturated with whatever color you've put on them. I'm going to put like a dot of the blue just right at the roots because the ends have absorbed it so much. I'm just like literally rubbing it in my palms and like hoping and praying for the best here. Yeah, this one smells like bubble gum. Don't, don't particularly like the scent of that. So yeah, I'm just like putting some blue onto my roots to try and like match the ends that I've absorbed. So we're gonna be a neon green and teal girl now, not neon yellow. <laughs> it is what it is. That's one thing about fashion color is like, if you expect to have your hair look perfect 24 seven, you're wrong, you're wrong. You just have to embrace the chaos and sometimes rock with what you have. This is the blue that I use at, now that I have color all over it and on my hands because I took my gloves off, but it's punky color, tealistic. I've used it for two years. I love it. You leave it on for like five minutes in the shower. I do it while I shave my legs and then I rinse it out. I'm going to get in the shower and do the other half of this color and we'll check back. I look like old Greg right now. You can see the green is shaking. I wet my other, my blue part of my hair before I put the in shower stuff on because that's what it says to do. Blue is also way more pigmented. Mm -hmm don't need it to sit as long and it's okay if it's wet. These lighter colors, you want to be dry. My hair is blue, but I mean, as you can see, like I made sure to paint a decent amount of blue onto the areas that are kind of like green tinted. There's always going to be that awkward split. All right, we're done. I'm going to blow dry my hair because I want to see where I'm at with it right now. It's definitely more green. It's more, more vibrant. All right, I got this little daily dose. It's like an it's a 10 dupe, I think, on Amazon. It was in the 10, 15 dollar range, I wanna say as well. But it lasts forever, and I feel like it detangles my hair 
much better than the It's Attended. I got a lot of hair. You gotta deal with me. I use a lot of products. This is why I only wash my hair once a week. Wet brush, because we're not trying to have tangles. The faded parts look a lot better. Just, just a nice refresher. But when you do your color at home, you can't expect perfection. Chad has to be included. Like, if I'm somewhere, he has to be there. He's so dramatic. Love him, but... <laughs> Buddy, Mom's doing her hair. So I move in two weeks on April 29th, I think it is. I'm moving downtown by myself. Well, with Chad. He's like, Mom, you forgot me. I know, Chad. You're coming, too. <laughs> but I'm curious to see how he does because, like, I adopted him with roommates and they had pets. So he had entertainment. Anyways, my delivery finally arrived, so <laughs> this was the other product I used. I think I got it on Amazon, too. It's a smoothing straightening balm because I'm going to blow dry my hair. But uh, check back for part two and my final look.